hey guys, how's it going? My name's Lois, and welcome back to Stone Block 2. In the last episode, we fought the Chaos Chicken and defeated it and got ourselves a hold of some Chaos Shards. And those are pretty much the last big item that we need to collect. Um, at this point, we need to just do a lot of kind of crafting and getting getting materials together and mostly waiting on uh, getting a lot of EMC. And this has not produced a singular. We're at 10, we're about a third of the way to getting a infinity ingot from this guy. And here we have 46 awakened draconium, which is going to be good because we're going to use a lot of that kind of stuff today. Uh, because the plan is this. We are going to be making the uh, draconic energy core, the top tier one. And that is going to require a lot of space. So we're going to dig this down. As you can see, I've started to dig a little bit. Um, but I don't know how big to, to the, the core is. So I don't know how far down to dig um, to make my catwalk area look nice and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, I figured I'd record a little bit. And the other problem is we defeated the Chaos Chicken last time, but we didn't get the quest. It didn't activate for whatever reason. So... I could cheat and uh, manually activate it because we did we did uh, fight the Chaos Chicken and win. Um, or I could just go fight it again. And I figured, let's just go fight it again. But before I do, I want to make the Draconic uh, Staff of Power. So hopefully that will make it a lot easier to fight. We'll still, I'll still wear my Infinity Armor. Uh, and then there's one other thing I want to talk about. And it's this. Uh, I really, really despise all these animals spawning in my farm area. Um, we're not supposed to be having, you know, actual animals spawn. Uh, and it's because we have all this grass and mob caps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, I got to do something about this, and I think the solution is this. So I upgraded my uh, shovel to be a cobalt shovel, and I put silk touch on it, and that was very inconvenient. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all of this grass uh, eventually with framed blocks and put grass blocks down on it. So it looks exactly the same, but it's not. So that that's the plan. Um, otherwise, I looked up to see if there's anything else that was grass vivid grass might work uh it looks nice uh i could probably i should look to see if oh i don't even know if i can get that i don't know how to get that anyways i think it's going to be grass seeds so i don't know if uh this would b basically I need to find a way to make grass that mobs can't spawn on. Um, so I'll do a little bit of research. Maybe we'll do the grass seeds. That would probably be easier. Replace all of this, put dirt down, and call it a day. Uh, but I'll, I'll see what is going to be the best way. I'm worried a little bit about lag if I use the carpenter blocks, the frame blocks. But I, I got to figure something out. I'm, I'm tired of all of these animals spawning in our base. Uh, so let's get on with what we need to do today. So first things first, we're going to make the energy core from Draconic Evolution, which is just Wyvern energy core, normal Wyvern core, and some Draconium. Um, I'm going to need a little bit of this stuff. No, I'm not. Never mind. Um, we're also going to need a few of those. <laughs> uh, okay. And we're going to make the energy core. Now this is apart from being an, uh, a quest is so we need four energy core stabilizers now if I look in this guy to the energy core uh, energy storage core we are going to need 36 core stabilizers so I guess we'll just go ahead and make one um, they're not too bad to make we need a particle generator and then we use that to make the energy core stabilizer and then we get a couple stacks uh, and i don't think it's important to, to keep any extras of that 
Uh, so that is a quest, which is kind of nice. But we're going to... We're going to need a lot more stuff for that. But the main thing I want to do is I want to see... Let's put this just down here. And I want the build guide. Um, and I want the max tier. So that is how big it's going to be. Uh, that looks awful. Also, it is really hard to find. Oh, there it is. Um, so it looks like it's what? One, two, three, four, five. So it's a nine circle. That that tells me what I need to know. So I am going to need to to dig out quite a bit of space um, because I want that kind of in the center, and then I'll figure out the stairs and all that kind of fun stuff later. Um, but yeah, that is going to be a big project, and. All things considered, it shouldn't be too difficult. We have the materials. I mean, we're going to need what for the... Let's see, where is it? I always lose it because I scroll too far. Um, we're going to need seven, almost 800 draconium and 400 awakened draconium blocks. That is actually really easy. So I don't think we'll have too much problem. We have so much EMC just sitting in here. Uh, it should be pretty easy to get all that stuff together. Uh, and I mean, I have 900 draconium, awakened draconium blocks in the system right now, and we have a ton of draconium as well. So I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Yeah, it's not going to be an issue at all. We already have it. So um, I will probably do all of that off camera, uh, and I'll probably also build it off camera because that looked like it was going to be a pain to actually build. Uh, but what we're going to do now is I want to kind of switch gears and I want to make the Draconic Staff of Power so that I can go fight the Chaos Chicken again and hopefully the the quest book will recognize it. I don't know why it didn't, but I'll, I'll see if fighting it again will do something. Uh, I, did, I did check to make sure that there was no dependencies. It just requires the Mighty Ender Chicken, which we've already completed. So, yeah, don't know about that. But, uh... If it doesn't complete a second time, then I will go ahead and auto-complete it. But I'll do that on camera, obviously. Uh, so we're going to make the Draconic Staff of Power, which requires five Awakened Draconium. I think we can handle that. And some Awakened Draconium cores. I'm going to go ahead and get a few of those. And then it's also going to require... Um, the draconic tools, so the sword, the pickaxe, and the shovel, um, which those in turn require an energy core and an awakening core. And is it the same for all of them? Pickaxe, two, two, and the sword. Yes, so it's all the same. So we're going to need one, two, three. And we're going to need six. And we are going to need some of these. So one, two, three. Okay. So then all of these are also going to require the Wyvern tier. Um, and that is actually really easy. And we should be able to just go ahead and make these. Um, so we're going to need a pickaxe. Uh, a shovel. And a sword. All of the diamond variety. And there is the pickaxe of... The Wyvern, the Sword of the Wyvern, and of course the Shovel of the Wyvern, the most important items of the Wyvern. Uh, and then we just need to go do some fusion crafting. Um, whoops, hit the wrong button. So we're just going to do this. And... One at a time, it should not be too difficult. And then what is the exact recipe for the Staff of Power? It is uh, one Awakened Core. Okay. So I can go ahead and actually after 
that is done. We'll go over here and put this away. So everything we don't need goes back away. Now, the upgrades for the Draconic Staff of Power include damage and attack. Now, um, the upgrade keys to get damage is just some Draconic Cores, Draconium, Golden Sword, and Lapis. So that's kind of the big thing that I think we would want. We'll go grab some more stuff here in a second. Um, but we'll go ahead and make all these tools. Now, this isn't a quest. There's not a quest for this uh, in the book or anything like that. But it's simple enough to do. Might as well. Uh, so we can put that away. And it is done. Two, three, four, five. Uh, Waking Core, and then what goes in the middle? Uh, the pickaxe. So then the two, the two tools go over there, and we can start that. So when it comes to upgrades, um, you have a basic upgrade, a Wyvern tier upgrade, and then a Draconic upgrade. Uh, and they require, obviously, different things. I don't know if we need three keys or not. So we're just going to start with one. And, you know, I don't really care if the, the swords are enchanted. Um, but if we want to upgrade this, we're going to need two diamonds, two golden apples, two eyes of ender, and a draconic core. Uh, so apples. Uh, we're going to need diamonds. Eyes of Ender, if I can spell Eyes of Ender, and the key. So I think all we need to do is this, and then the Draconic Core. We should be able to put that in, and it will upgrade from uh, nothing to a little bit. Now, these things hold a ton of power, which is unfortunate, but uh, I'm hoping it will make things a little bit easier. And I just want to see if we get the key back. If we get the key back, then I don't have to make another one. And we do. All right. So um, I just need to grab the things for the Draconic tier. And I believe you have to do it one at a time. Um, we can check... So yeah, basic, it has to be basic attack, um, and that has to be at least Wyvern. So we're going to need four Nether Stars, uh, three Wyvern Cores, and a bunch of Emeralds. Uh, so Cores, one, two, three, one, uh, Nether Stars, the Emeralds. Uh, two blocks and then two individuals and two draconic cores okay so that should be everything so we can do that that uh, emeralds are first and uh, not that. Don't need that one yet. But that should be Wyvern tier. And we'll see, it goes from seven attack damage to, uh, it, it's gonna go up as we make it stronger, basically. And then we can also put enchants on it and all that kind of fun stuff. And enchanting on Draconic gear at least used to be a lot easier because um, you didn't actually have to do anything. So that's now nine attack damage and we can put more. Uh, so that is kind of the biggest of the upgrades that we would want. Um, other upgrades we could probably do is RF capacity. 
Um, that's probably going to be pretty important, but at the same time, I don't care. We'll take our other sword. I'll take my other sword with me. Oh, no, we're out of power, aren't we? I wasn't looking to see... Okay, we're not out of power. It's just going to take a lot of power. Uh, it's going to take... Yeah, way too much power. Never mind. Um, we're just going to cancel that. So, what we can do is... Nope, that is Psy. Um, I wish I knew the button. I have to go look up a button. Controls. Uh, Draconic Evolution. So, uh, see. Okay. So, apparently I have a conflict. We're just gonna get rid of a bunch of those. Nope. Inventory crafting still locked. Um... <laughs> That is extra function. Okay. That should be enough. There we go. Now we can see the various things. So we can adjust the attack radius. Um, two is the most we can do. Uh, but we can also enable... Uh, where? Let's see. Attack radius. I don't see anything... This says actual attack. So let's just charge this up a little bit. And that drained all of my power. Whoops. And... Yeah, uh, dig speed, junks, filters. Not entirely sure. Oh, we're up to 90 attack damage. Okay, never mind. Uh, does this still have books no okay so we can enchant this and could be good to do that uh, I don't know if I have any sharpness books currently um, but basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, dig down yeah sharpness three why not let's put that on there and that will make it slightly better but this thing should do a lot of work. So, um, here's the plan. I am going to dig out the um, machine room area. And we're going to basically get um, the energy core built. And then I will meet you guys back when I am about to defeat the chaos chicken. And we'll go from there. Hopefully that will complete the quest. Um, don't know if it will or not. I did want to see one last thing real, real quick. Um, how bad is it to make an item dislocator? Not, not difficult at all. Um, we're going to make a magnet to make my life a little bit easier. Uh, we just need an eye vendor. And then we can make, we can actually just make the, um, awaken magnet and you just shift right click, activate it. And now anything that's dropped on the ground will be sucked in my inventory. So that's going to help cleaning up the cobblestone and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so I am going to dig. I'm going to build the core. We'll get all that kind of stuff ready. Uh, and we'll come back once we're fighting the Chaos Chicken. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I decided to change my mind again. Um, I'm going to take you guys in with the Chaos Chicken fight, and we're going to do that real quick here in a second, but real real quick before we go over there, um, I dug really far down. Uh, so, yeah, um, that is the space that we're going to work with. This is the bottom of what we're going to do, and we'll come back and we'll build that in a little bit. Now, you might notice, um, or you might hear, rather, a, a pig... Um, the pig is me. Uh, unfortunately, it's April Fools, and uh, yeah, I can't get rid of that. That in this version of uh, the mods, the specific mod that is doing it is uh, I Chun Utility, uh, and unfortunately, there is no option to disable it. So we're just going to put up with the pig noises. It will be kind of constant. It's really annoying. It's really dumb that there's not a way to disable it, but whatever 
Um, so I did a couple of things. Uh, let's put some stuff away that we're not going to need. Just clean up the inventory a little bit. I like keeping the time in a bottle on. Uh, I made this hammer um, unbreakable. Uh, so I made some reinforcements, which are just obsidian and any cast. Uh, you put five of them on there and it is then unbreakable. Will never break. It's perfect. Uh, however, uh, I started using the Draconic pa Staff of Power a little bit more because we can uh, make this have a dig AoE of 3x3 three three and a depth of 5, which is pretty cool. So basically i could dig more blocks faster that way uh, and it worked pretty well so uh i also set up the advanced dislocator for a spawn point right over there so i i just click it and i fueled it with ender pearls um so we'll just spawn right there and then i also if you shift uh mouse scroll you can change where you go and i have one for the end so let's just make sure i have everything we need and let's go to the end. Let's summon in this Chaos Chicken and defeat it. Hopefully pretty quickly with the Staff of Power. Uh, don't need that up. And we're going to keep the book on us uh, once, once the dragon decides to spawn. So we just got to put the diamond block. And that worked just fine. Um, if I remember correctly, this was really loud, so we're going to just go ahead and preempt, uh, turn the sounds down. Um, but yeah, we're going to fight the Chaos Chicken, and hopefully, I mean, we can't die, so there's that. Uh, I want to keep the quest book in the inventory, because hopefully it will detect. Otherwise, we are going to cheat and auto-complete it, but just to kind of make sure it wasn't a fluke, uh... We're, we're going to do things this way and yeah we don't have this upgraded the um draconic staff of power upgraded too too extremely um but it's much stronger than our ender so hopefully that will make a difference and the chaos chicken was what what do you want uh the chaos chicken was not too difficult um since we you know can't take damage but uh, it still was a long enough fight, and I might cut it out if uh, it's too long. So we need to hit it a few times. Um, I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do to break the shell. Uh, it might just be a time thing. But I'm going to... I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, try to do something with it. He's talking, so maybe? There we go. Alright, so the shield's up. We hit the shield. And... Alright, at some point, we should be able to... There we go. Do some damage. And this is not too bad. Okay. So this is very loud and very explosion-y. We're just gonna try to do as much damage as we can. Uh, as quickly as we can. And hopefully... Uh, this goes by... Okay, we gotta... Break the shield. And... Yeah, um... We defeated it again. Let's go ahead and get our magnet out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... We're going to have to auto-complete it. So I believe it's... Is it Feed the Beast Quest? Yes. Uh, quest. Um, editing mode. Or change progress. We might be able to do that. Change progress. Um, complete... 
I don't know what. Unfortunately, I don't know what that one is. So let's just do. Uh, I'll tell you guys what. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what it exactly is we need to do. Um, and I will complete it here in a moment. Uh, but let's head back to the overworld. Nice quick teleportation, uh, and we can uh, get rid of everything. So I'm going to just real quick figure out what's going on with the uh, quest, and if I can fix it, that'd be awesome. Uh, by the way, uh, we can't use the Awaken item dislocator in here because I pick up the drops from the mob farm, like all the way over here. This thing is very powerful. Uh, so I am going to figure out what we need to do to complete the quest, and I'll be right back once that's done. All right, so I put myself into editing mode, and I think the easiest way to complete this is just going to go uh, right-click this and complete instantly. Uh, yes, we did it. We we murdered the uh, the chaos chicken, and then I just need to go here and turn editing mode off. So presumably, uh, for whatever reason. It was completing everything else in the line, and I don't know why, but uh, we've completed that chapter. That is actually true. Uh, this quest we've completed before. Uh, it is a repeatable quest. And then the other thing is now we can do the big bad. We can get the chaos shard, and it should be if I just put that in the inventory. No big problem there. Uh, so I'm not sure why it didn't work before, but uh, whatever. We, we got it to work now. So, we're just going to go ahead and um, get some stuff out of the inventory that we don't currently need. And I have in this chest all of the materials we need to make the uh, energy core. So, we're going we're gonna to do that now. And I think if I just right click this, we can type hit a symbol core. And it's going to build it for us, which is really nice. Now, this isn't the only part. This is only part one of three, I guess, um, that we need to do. So this is the easy part. We just have all this draconium, and you can see it's very quickly escaping our inventory. Um, and it should leave one block on the bottom. Now, one other thing that we need to do is we need to use the energy stabilizers, the... Um, the stabilizers that we made before uh, and those are required uh, within 16 blocks of this thing um, wow this is really cool looking though uh, within 16 blocks and we're gonna put them on the walls because uh, I think that would be cool and hopefully it doesn't get too much bigger and there we go that is the core and unfortunately, I can't, like, look at it anymore. But theoretically, if we take the energy core stabilizers, we should be able to... Uh, we need to put four of them, and it's nine on each side. And so we're going to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that is within line. Uh, I kind of want to make sure that it is. It is not. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna break these, and I just want these to be in line with this guy. So we're just going to do this, and I really despise that pig. <laughs> um, we should be able to just get this done. Um, there's one other thing that we need to do, um, but it is surprisingly not going to be too difficult. Um, we just got to craft something. I kind of forgot about it, to be perfectly honest. And there's that. We just... up oh, miss... Miss the... the mark on some of these so uh let's turn our magnet back on 
Um, we don't collect the wither skeleton drops over here, so that is nice. But one more side. And theoretically, core not found. All right, um, what's going on with this? Um, that is not what I wanted to have happen. So, I don't know why we can't get to the uh, the core. Let's go grab our Draconic Evolution book and see what. Yep, we're getting we're getting the drops from the mob farm. I gotta watch that. All right, so let's see what's going on with this. If we look at the uh, energy store core setup. Uh, okay. Once you have selected the tier, uh, you need to build the structure. And, oh, okay, so we need one more thing, and that is the energy pylons. So these require two things. We're going to need glass blocks, uh, just two, nothing too major there. And we're also going to need the energy pylon, uh, which apparently we, oh, we need an eye vendor, okay. I was like, I thought it was symmetrical, and it was a diamond we were missing. Um, but Draconic Core, some Draconium, nothing too major. And we're just going to uh, put these down. Oof. Uh, we need to clean this off. Uh, I don't believe we'll have the issue of mobs spawning up there once it's actually built. Okay. You're really annoying. Uh, and we're just going to put these down here for right now. Uh, and I think... Uh, how do we set these up? Uh, energy pylons. So... Place a black... Uh, if it is above the center of the core... Okay. So... Simply right click the sphere. Okay. So what we need to do is just put glass on the top of these. And I don't know why this isn't recognizing the core. Oh, because these have to be within 16 blocks of the actual core. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It can be 10 blocks away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, it should be right there. Um, let's try moving these closer. Uh, and let's actually check. This one should. Yeah, it should be close enough. So let's move these. Two, three, four. Uh, how far away are these? One, two, three, four five blocks all right so this is probably the issue so let's just do one two three four five and i will figure out something um in terms of like making this look nice uh so let's go to the other side and do the same thing so one two three four five vein mine these and if we can do this correctly uh, should just be a matter of activate and there is our draconic energy core now now I can click on any part of this it looks really really cool and its capacity is a lot um yeah 
so I will set up some like cool structures or something. I'll probably do something into the wall. And then I'm going to want to have catwalks going all the way down. Um, but this is input output. So what we're going to end up doing eventually is setting up a power system to draw to to generate the power. Um, we're probably going to use rainbow generators. That's going to be fun. Uh, and then we're also going to use different wireless charging, uh, at least in this room. We're going to use the Draconic Energy Crystals. Um, these are really powerful. They're really cool. Uh, you can even set them up for uh, wireless, like uh, a wireless relay. So you can set up a wireless energy crystal and you don't need to have anything. It will just attach to anything that can accept RF. So we can get rid of a lot of this, this like ugly wiring um, and make things look nice. So I think, I think we're going to call it there for today. So we're going to, we're going to have this guy sitting here, just doing nothing for now. Um, and then eventually we will start doing input output. Uh, I can remember, I think that's input, that's output. Uh, and if we want to move those, there's not, I mean, we can do that very easily. Uh, no, no issues there. And it's just going to be about, about making the, the catwalks going all the way down, decorating the sides, and getting everything looking nice in here. So that is a future plan. Um, it's going to take some while for me to get through all of that. But um, we need to start getting things charging in there. And one of the other things that we need to do is have an area where we can set up the rainbow generator so that we can generate a lot of power and hopefully yeah just get a lot of a lot of stuff going so that's the plan for the future um for now though we're going to call the episode here and next time we're probably going to work on a little bit more of uh the draconic evolution stuff um there is some other things we can do but we need to start generating a lot of power and so that's probably what we're going to work towards so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye!